Lauren again. Hashtag a year -thon is officially over. So here's my wrap up. Yay! I'm only wearing lip gloss and don't expect any more. And if I have any lip gloss on my teeth, don't care. This month it was going to be um, Rick Riordan Readathon. I've already read all of Rick Riordan that I want to. You can see all about that in my announcement. Instead, I decided to do Yuwo's Half Prince series. I already read book one, which is the beginning of a legend, and so I wanted to read the next eight, uh, two through eight, and then maybe number nine. And that's Fantasy and Reality, Records of the Vagabond Prince, The Buskers of Infinite City, A Prince No More, The Great NPC Revolt, Life Fading Away, Eternal Legend, and then the Maybe Is sequel. And if you can hear pages turning, I have a notebook and lots of notes on multiple pages, so sorry about that. So, because this is all online, I always going by chapter, not page count. I don't have any, there's no pages. You click on the link and the whole chapter is there for however long it takes. All right, so my goal was 68 chapters and I altered it because I dropped sequel and instead decided to read Titan AE by Steve Perry and Dal Perry. And that brought my total up to a um, goal of 91 chapters pretty impressive and I managed to read 85 so let's get on so day one I started fantasy and reality and finished it and I started a bit of records of the vagabond prince for a total of 13 chapters my daily goal was 10 chapters per day day two I um, finished Records of the Vagabond Prince and started um, Buskers of Infinite City for a total of 12 chapters. Day 3 I read 10 chapters so I s finished up Buskers of Infinite City and also read it to entirety A Prince No More. Um, day 4 I read 11 chapters which I started and finished The Great NPC Revolt and started Life Fading Away. Day 5, I read a total of 11 chapters, which I finished Life Fading Away and started Eternal Legend. And I finished Eternal Legend on day 6 with the last three chapters. And if you didn't see my update, you should. I give a full review of the series. Um, I thought it was going to be spoilerific. It actually has no spoilers. Um, but <laughs> the epilogue was a mess. It was horribly written. All characterization was gone. Some pretty awesome plot points were ignored. Um, it just, it was really bad writing. It was just bad writing. So I decided sequel is the sequel to the epilogue. I had no intention of reading the epilogue. So instead, I decided to think of something else. When I posted my video, I had no clue what it was, or I was still kind of on the fence, but I did. I went with Titan A.E. <laughs> this is the novelization of the movie. Sorry, I just got like some hair on my face. Things that happened, little lines where I'm just like, why? Little things that were just gross and stupid in the novels are not in the manhwa. Um, so that was pretty interesting. Uh, please follow me on Twitter in case you didn't know. I was hosting lots of post hosting posting lots of updates um, on my Twitter. I was letting everybody know where I was. Okay, I think it's recording now. Okay, guys, really quick. I just finished my video and was watching it and realized I didn't talk about Titan A.E. Okay, Titan A.E. After I finished Epilogue, I decided to pick up Titan A.E. Titan A.E. is a novelization of the movie uh, by Steve Perry and Dal Perry. If you're too young to know, Titan A.E. is a sci-fi um, animated movie about what happens after the world is destroyed by this group of aliens called the Dredge. In the movie, they never really talk about why they destroyed the Earth. Um, it follows the story of Cal Tucker. His father created um, a spaceship called the Titan. The Titan is the greatest threat to Dredge and um, humanity's last hope. Fifteen years later, Cal was four, five when it happened. Fifteen years later, Cal doesn't believe in any of that. Um, the movie never talks about why the Dredge destroy it. The movie doesn't really... It's, a lot of things are left unexplained. The book does it pretty darn well. This is really good. I loved reading it. I never bought into it. Um, this is kind of a spoiler if you don't know, so spoiler alert. But the ship creates a planet. I never bought that. I always thought it was rather hokey. Um, so I give this a 4 out of 5 stars just because of how hokey it is. But 
Everything else is so good. I highly recommend this. I enjoyed it a lot. Okay, I need to stop talking to the camera and get this on there because it needs to go up now. Okay, thanks. Bye, back to the rest of the video. Pick up Titan AE if you like manga or comics. Read Half Prince Man One, then see if you want to dare the books. I just whack myself with this. All right, so please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to see more. I have more videos coming. I was actually supposed to post a different video on Friday instead of my updates on Saturday. My update would have come on Saturday anyway, but I was supposed to post something on Saturday. So the next two weeks will be triple weeks. So there will be one this today. Wednesday I'll have another video and Friday. And then the following week I will also have because this next coming week was supposed to be a triple anyway. But the following week, I will also have a video posted Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And then it will be back to the double ones. Um, I also need to film a haul. I'll be doing that tomorrow because it's late at night. And I'm really tired. I'm barely... <laughs> I've been barely functioning for the past few days. Because I've had to go places. And I had to get up and print my chapters from Half Prints. Oh, but I'm enjoying these hashtag of the year thons because I'm getting books off my TBR. Half Prince isn't listed anywhere because it's not in print in English. It never will be. Um, they have no plans to do that. But that was on my list for like two years. I got to read this. Um, so yeah, I will definitely be continue to be doing hashtag a year -thon. Um, Again, it's the first full week of the month every month for this year and it looks like it's going to continue probably next year so yeah i'll have links to that group down below again links to where you can uh links to goodreads for this links to where you can read half prints and of course to my twitter my pinterest i don't have a facebook page let me do y'all want me to do a facebook page let me know because my facebook page is very much for family and friends and can get kind of personal and it's even more random than my tumblr I'm on Tumblr down below too. And my blog. Also check out my blog down below. Um, I do other things. I do monthly favorites for everything, not just a books wrap ups. I also post my week in pictures, other things that I've been doing, um, including uh, little tidbits and flashes to videos to come. Because again, I'm using my friend's camera. LA Knight was very nice and let me borrow her camera. And I have to figure out how to get back to you. I will, Raven, I promise. Um, links to LA Knight is down below too because she also did hashtag a year -thon. Her wrap-up will be coming soon after I give the video camera back to her. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!